air quality and more specifically indoor air quality is an important issue as it, uh, you know, the, the indoor air environment uh, affects uh, people's health. We know that uh, Europeans spend a lot of their time indoors, actually 80%, uh, and certainly the, the quality of the indoor environment uh, has an effect on their health in terms of uh, respiratory health, in terms of asthma and allergies and a lot of health impacts that we see. It's a very complex issue because you have a mixture of biological factors, of chemical factors, so uh, it is uh, difficult to say there is the one problem, but we know certainly that uh, the quality of the outdoor environment plays a, plays a role and then the cons uh, consequently the pollution that comes in from indoors. We also see uh, the emissions, chemical emissions coming from uh, construction products or consumer products that we use in the environment are of concern. Uh, it's probably the biggest public health risk after smoking. Um, in the UK something between 30 and 50,000 people a year are dying early just due to um, uh, poor air quality and that's totally unacceptable in the 21st century. About half of the health impact from um, uh, indoor air quality actually is outside air so it's the uh, outside air in infiltrating into buildings. Uh, it's then made worse by um, sources within the building um, like through cooking, um, emissions from, from um, uh, building materials uh, and so on. So indoor air quality for some pollutants can be much worse uh, than outdoor air quality and there are no legal requirements to address it. What will be very important with the year of air, the European Commission's year of air, is coming up with a regime recommendations in 2013 which provide continuity of the legal framework but also the further tightening of public health and legal protections for people. Regarding um, products, there should be definitely harmonization and we would like to see not necessarily legislation but uh, for example a European labeling scheme for construction products from this perspective, from indoor air quality perspective, so that people know what they are using and choosing. People are aware that it's an uh, important uh, issue. And second is, and especially on outdoor air quality, there is, um, in many countries in the EU, there is already a so-called uh, quality of the air forecast, so that people know how to be, to be prepared. Sometimes they even need to um, uh, step up their medication and there are alternative products uh, on the market uh, that, uh, that can be used, uh, that you are not harm harming yourself. But the, um, the remaining thing, um, the big uh, thing that uh, remains is that there is no priority for this issue and uh, we don't have a proper strategy that is tackling uh, indoor, indoor air quality.